How's it going everybody? Welcome back uh, to the second part of this review uh, of the Saramonic SRWM4C lavalier microphone, the wireless lavalier microphone they generously sent out to me to review. Um, so yeah, this is going to be some sort of thoughts about it. Uh, go If you haven't seen my first video, my unboxing of it, go and check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's on my channel as well. Go and check that out, see what we get in the box. Uh, I got, you know, quite a good sort of review going on there as well just detailing a lot of the specs and uh, how it works. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna be kind of sharing my opinions after using it for a day or two. And uh, also, at the end of this video, I will include a range test as well to see how far the range is on the receiver and uh, just how it sounds far away, pretty much. I basically got into a field, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm re recording this whole video on this mic right now. As you can see, it's clipped onto my, I guess this is my lavalier. Anyway, uh, it's clipped onto my shirt, my very tasteful shirt, as you can see. Uh, very fitting for the weather outside. It's currently like 28 degrees in the UK, which is just crazy, crazy. Uh, also, apologies if it sounds like mass destruction outside. Uh, I did try and close up the window, but the neighbours are currently tearing down a house. So uh, that's always fun when your neighbours are tearing down a house. Yeah, they, uh, they're just doing it uh, pretty much every day right now. And it's just really, really annoying. So um, yeah, I'm sure the mic won't pick it up. Hopefully it sounds okay. I should have got it dialed in correctly. I did have a little test with the headphones uh, and also there's a monitoring port on the actual receiver which is really cool and you can actually dial in the uh, volume which will adjust the volume that goes into the camera as well as the monitoring on the actual receiver which is really really handy. Uh, I did tape over it though because I just feel like it's going to get knocked quite easily. Also another thought about this uh, about the belt packs or the packs is that the switches there's no nothing covering them whatsoever so I feel like they could get knocked pretty easily and actually um, you know get switched off quite easily in a pocket or something. So just a little thought, um, it's fine, but I would probably like tape over it or something because uh, I've seen other belt packs that have sort of a, an opening where the switch is actually inside. Uh, that's not the case here, but it's okay because I can just tape over it. But basically I'm using a Sony a6300 to record this and uh, it's plugged directly into the camera from the receiver. And on the camera, uh, the audio levels are about five, uh, maybe even like four, I think, uh, really, really low. And it's picking up really, really well. And it's about halfway, I would say, on the receiver on the volume dial. Uh, so hopefully dialed in pretty low on the camera shouldn't get any noise or static from the actual camera uh, So I know maybe it's Canon only I don't know about Sony But uh, I know obviously if you turn it up too high on or in the camera the amp or the DAC in the camera actually uh, Feeds in a lot of like static and feedback uh, So you know sort of white noise. So hopefully you won't be getting that here sound quality seems pretty good from what I've tried so far uh, Obviously this would be a, a really good test because I've never really tried it full on like this when you sort of listen to what I've listened to with the monitoring and a few other sort of videos here and there. So when I was actually unboxing it, it came with two audio cables, uh, one to go into the camera and another one which I wasn't too sure about. But now uh, looking at it a bit more, it's actually an adapter so you can plug it into your camera or your, well not your camera, your phone sorry, or your GoPro. So actually yeah, you can, uh, it comes with an adapter straight in the box to plug it into your GoPro or your, uh, your phone. So it's like a three, three ringed uh, audio cable which you need for phones and stuff. So uh, I was able to plug it into my phone really easily. It worked really well. Um, and yeah, it was really, really good. So really nice that they include both cables in the box. So you're good to go if you have a GoPro or you just want to record from a smartphone, maybe you're a vlogger or something. Uh, so really, really cool. Uh, another thing I did notice with the belt packs, this is pretty standard with most microphone belt packs. Uh, they use two AA batteries, which is really nice. AA is pretty standard for belt packs. Uh, it means you can just switch them out whenever you need to. And uh, I would recommend putting fresh batteries in before every sort of recording session, especially a long recording session. And also the reason I say that, I would say that anyway, but the reason I do say that is because even though the LED light where it indicates if power's on or not, it does flash red, I believe, uh, if the battery's too low, but um, it has not got any kind of battery meter on it. So there's no way of checking where the battery's at. There's no like three bar battery meter or anything like that. So you kind of just have to put in new batteries before every recording. Uh, and just you know makes just to make sure that you're not gonna lose battery you know run out of battery so a little bit of annoying but kind of what you expect for this price I guess you can pay a little bit more Saramonic do sell some more higher-end ones that do have a little bit more of a display on them uh, but for this it is pretty good you know just as long as you have new batteries in it every time uh, it should be fine I think the battery life is pretty good though I've had no issues so far just running off the two batteries I put in when I started so yeah just before I go on to the range test I just want to say I'm really really happy with this microphone system uh, I think for the price, you know, for under 100 bucks uh, and under 100 dollars uh, US and around 100 pounds here in the UK, I'm really, really impressed. There is other solutions on the market, but this one does seem really, really good. The sound quality just seems amazing, 
for the price. I know obviously it's still expensive for a lot of people, but this is wireless, let's be honest, and the range is pretty far on it, it's pretty impressive. It's got a lot of nice features on it, you know, you've got your four channels, which is really nice. It's got a really nice XLR connector, so you get nice clean audio. Uh, all that does mean it's more proprietary, so you don't, you, you know, you can't plug in any kind of 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, but I really like that, and uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. I would recommend this for, you know, professional heavy users, because just down to the fact that it's not so durable, and, you know, it might not be as reliable, um, and the range maybe is not so good. It's okay, though, it's pretty good. It far exceeds my, my use, so um, I'm, I'm definitely happy about that. But if you're doing any kind of YouTube pranks, um, maybe just recording across the street or something like that, uh, or even just make YouTube videos, you know, and you want a wireless mic, or, a, or you know, you're a vlogger or something and you're right next to the camera, but you just want something wireless, uh, this is going to be great. I, I really would recommend it, to be honest. Um, and it's really quite inexpensive, so even if you did use it quite a bit um, and it, it, something did happen to it, it's not going to break the bank if, uh, if, if something did happen to it. So yeah, I really do recommend this, uh, but let's get on to the range test see how it goes, see how it performs. It performs really pretty well, to be honest. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. How's it going, guys? Just gonna do a quick range test. Uh, hopefully it sounds good. Just got it clipped onto my shirt right now. Very tasteful shirt, I know. Uh, just got my phone. I'm plugged into my phone because it's uh, just a lot easier, really. And uh, I'm also testing it with the phone and GoPro adapter that comes in the box. So it should be good. Hopefully you can hear me. If you can't, then, well, that sucks because uh, I'm only going to be able to check it afterwards. But I'm just going to carry on walking backwards. As you see, we've got a large open space. So yeah, let's see how it sounds. All right, so I'm going to keep on walking back. I don't know what the distance is here. Um, just hoping nobody comes and disturbs me, but don't know what the distance is here. As you can see, I better just check it's on. Yeah, it looks like it's on. So um, yeah, I'm just going to keep walking back here. Hello, hello. I'm uh, pretty far away. You should be able to kind of tell. Um, it's probably about 40 foot right now, maybe. 20, 25, 30 foot. Um, so I'm going to keep walking back here and just rambling on a bit. Hopefully you can hear me. I did try and fix it. Yeah, I did try and use the volume dial before I came out to make sure it sounded okay. So I'm going to try and talk a little bit louder here and uh, keep on walking back. You should be able to see the belt pack clipped onto my back pocket with that nice big beefy aerial on there. Um, I'll keep on walking back here. I've got a clear line of sight, which is pretty good uh, so far. I'll keep on walking back. Uh, so high out here today, it's like 28 degrees. Um, yeah, so hot. But uh, I've come correctly dressed, as you can see. I'm going to do Yeah, short left my below. Shoes are All right, so I'm pretty far away. You can still hear me. I would hopefully. me back or maybe I'll up I don't know. Um, oh, I obviously how it sounds right now I'm gonna keep walking back um, hopefully they might pick me up to experience I just hope it sounds okay <laughs> all right I'm walking back I wonder if it's picking up my footsteps actually it's an interesting one I suppose you could always adjust the volume to counteract that um, walking back now, so I went pretty far away. I went like, whew, I don't know, 200 feet maybe? Maybe not, I really don't know. But hopefully you got a good sense of how far away I was then. Pretty far, um, far enough that I think anyone would like to go with this. Uh, yeah, so I'm coming back now. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm sure you can hear me right now. So yeah, I've just got the transmitter on a little camera mount on the back of it with a hot shoe cold shoe adapter and yeah that's pretty much it that's the range test hope it sounds like i'm just going to check it now check it was all good and uh yeah i'll head back to my studio i don't have a studio but yeah something like that